So this reef that we were on yesterday, completely covered by algae, it, it blows the generalization that the sea isn't green, uh, because this reef was totally green, just algae everywhere. Uh, why is that? Why is that part of the sea green? And, and the answer is really pretty simple. Virtually all the herbivores are gone. Two major kinds of herbivores would be typical for this kind of Caribbean reef. Sea urchins, they were wiped out in 1983 with a disease. And hordes, just the complete dense schools of herbivorous fish, usually patrol the reefs and pick it clean of all the algae that are trying to grow. Well, if you overfish the reef, taking out not only the, the jacks and the other pelagic fish and the, the grouper, but also all the little herbivorous fish, then all those tiny little mouths disappear and the algae grow and grow and grow. So the sea turns green. The reef gets covered by algae choking off the coral because the herbivores are gone. What can you do about that? So we could go through very expensive coral replanting. We could try to have divers out there mowing up the algae on uh, you know, meter by meter, we could, we could try to breed sea urchins and put them back on the reef, but the easiest and the most, most direct, the fastest and cheapest thing to do are just to put in some marine parks. By leaving chunks of reef alone that is reducing fishing pressure for the most part, you can allow the normal herbivorous fish, the ones that can snip away at those algae, uh, will come back and clear it away on their own. Places like Bonaire and St. Lucia in the Caribbean that have marine parks have seen enormous benefits, not only to tourism, uh, but also to basic fishing. It's just like on land, like, like out here on Manhead Key or Green Key where the iguanas are, where predators keep herbivores in check, allowing the plant life to thrive. The world is green because of predators. The sea is green right now because people are too good at being predators.